two fair dice are drawn and the scores are added together. Draw a two-way table to show all possible outcomes. Find the probability that the sum of the scores on the two dice is 7 less than 5, 5 or greater, even or divisible by 3, even and divisible by 3. We must first draw a two-way table or sample space diagram to show all the outcomes. Put the outcomes of the first die along the side. Put the outcomes of the second die along the top. So we have our first die. The options are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We have our second die. The options are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Find all possible outcomes by adding the two scores. So for example, 6 plus 5 makes 11. So if we got 6 on the first die and 5 on the second die, we get 11 as a total. So this 2 comes from 1 plus 1 makes 2. This 3 comes from 2 plus 1 makes 3. This 4 comes from 3 plus 1 makes 4 and so on. We then count the total number of possible outcomes, which in this case is 36. So 6 by 6 is 36 possible outcomes. So the probability of a score of 7. Well, a total of 6 outcomes add up to 7, and they're coloured in green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the probability of a score of 7 is going to be the number of outcomes that total 7, which is 6, divided by the total number of possible outcomes, which is 36, and 6 over 36 is a sixth. So the probability that when we throw two dice and add the scores that we get a result of 7 is 1 over 6. Part 2, the probability of a score less than 5. So there's a total of 6 outcomes that are a score less than 5. They're coloured in red. 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 and 4. So that makes 6 in total. So the probability of a score less than 5 is the total number of outcomes that are less than 5, which is 6, divided by the total number of possible outcomes, which is 36, and 6 over 36 is a sixth. The probability of getting a score of 5 or greater. Well, we worked out in part 2 that there were 6 outcomes that are less than 5, and there are 36 possible outcomes in total. Therefore, the number of outcomes that will give us a score of 5 or greater is 6 minus 36, which is 30. So the probability of a score of 5 or greater is going to be 30 over 36, which is 5 over 6. Alternatively, we could count the outcomes in the two-way table. Part 4. The probability of a score that is even or divisible by 3. A total of 24 outcomes are either even or divisible by 3, coloured in orange. So 2 is an even number, 4 is even, 6 is even, 8 is even, 10 is even and 12 is even. And numbers that are divisible by 3 are 3. 6, 9, and 12. So counting all the orange numbers, we come up with 24 in total. So the probability of a score that is even or divisible by 3 is going to be the number of outcomes that is even or divisible by 3, which is 24, divided by the total number of possible outcomes, which is 36, and 24 over 36 is 2 over 3. Part 5. The probability of a score that is even and divisible by 3. A total of 6 outcomes are even and divisible by 3. They're coloured in blue. So 6 is clearly an even number and can be divided by 3. And 12 is an even number and can be divided by 3. So all together we have 6 outcomes that are even and divisible by 3. So the probability of a score that is even and divisible by 3 is the number of outcomes that are even and divisible by 3, which are 6, divided by the total number of possible outcomes, which is 36, and 6 over 36 is a sixth.